Okay, testing the audio. Test, test, test. Hello, friends. Uh, that's going to be the recorded video for our Harry Potter Wizard Witch characters. If you don't know what Harry Potter is, it's an old book and movie. Well, it's old to you guys, probably. Um, but we're just going to do self-portraits of ourselves, kind of with a wand and something else in our hand, whether it's a book or nothing, like whatever. You can um, follow me. I'm going to do two different versions. Um, one with like a long robe and a sweater vest and pants. One that has like a long jacket. So guys or girls could do either. And the jacket one's got a scarf. So it's like up to you. If you want to change clothing, change colors, change shapes, do it. Okay. The thing I am going to recommend you do is I really think the eyes turn out super cool how I did them. So I'm going to try and do that on both versions as well. So this is going to be a longer video because I'm going to do both side to side. So kind of just keep that in mind. If you need to fast forward to each individual step, feel free. Um, but I'm going to start with my head shape, um, or my, my head, excuse me. So with my little nose, I'm going to do like a little simple upside down question mark with a little mouth. I think it's going to be open on this guy. I don't know why, but we'll leave it as that. And I probably would end up coloring in inside of his mouth. But my lady one, and my one on the side, um, I'll probably do something similar. And I apologize for the shadow of my head, but I got to lean over so I can get this nice and good. My little upside down question mark. I'm just going to keep this one simple with a little smile. But do what you want. Eyes, very sketchy, very light. I'm going to do two little circles. And I'm doing my best to make them the same size. This one's a little smaller than that one, so I'm going to try and tinker with that. The same size and like in the same kind of location. So if they're not perfect, do it lightly. That way you can kind of tinker with it like I had to. So like this one is definitely closer to the ridge of my nose than this one is. So I need to move it over just slightly. So I might move this one over some to the left. So do it lightly like I, was, um, I did. That way you can kind of get it to be relatively close. Still looks a little far away, but I'm going to leave it. Um, so I'm going to do that on my left guy. Okay, we'll call it call it good. I'm gonna zoom in some. So I'm going to do a circle to the top left with a larger circle in the center. So circle to the top left, larger circle to the center. I'm gonna repeat these steps on all four of my eyes since I'm doing two versions. Once you have that, I'm gonna do a line here and here on each one. Line here and here. It's basically two little diagonal lines. I'm gonna darken my eye now that I'm kind of finalized with it. And all my little sketchy lines I'll tinker with later. Um, do like a little eyebrow any way you want. This one's gonna be a little bit bigger for my lady girl. And we'll move on. If you wanna do like a little line below, like a little chin, you can, that's up to you. But I'm gonna do try to really sketchy, like this almost like a U shape for like my cartoony kind of sized head. So it's gonna be pretty big, my head is. And do it do it really sketchy, guys. When I say sketchy, I mean light. And kind of like be free with it. That way you can do it a couple times and kind of find um, find the, the, the right path for your lines. If you need to tilt your drawing to make these curves a little bit easier to do, do it like this, fine. And I'll give my, my gentleman two little curvy ears. Try and make them relatively the same size. This one's a little bit longer, so I'm going to tinker with it. I want it to be symmetrical, meaning both sides are about the same. Well, not about, excuse me, they're identical, so they are the same. If you want it to be like your jaw to be skinnier or your chin to be point pointy, like do it. Like that's fine. Like, if I want my girl to be a little bit more narrow, I can't. It's so like do it, like make your own choices. I'll do a little cute little ear on both sides for her too. And, and kind of right now both look like boys because we got no hair. And that's okay. So my dude wants and I have the robe. 
and like the sweater vest with a tie, my lady will have the jacket. You can mix and match, okay? That's completely up to you. So, lady, I need to do my scarf. So two like little curvy lines with, sorry, with one that kind of connects as a second layer. And then a lot of things in Hogwarts and like Wizards and stuff that you have striped outfits. So I'm going to add two little lines so we can do multicolored there. And then two curvy lines for the part of the scarf that hangs down with stripes in it. And a little fill, like little letter W's or U's at the bottom. My dude. I'm going to do two lines. They're not perfectly straight. I'm going to go down and then start to slowly bend out. It's going to be the robe. So it's pretty long. If I move my paper down, you can see it's pretty close to the bottom of my paper. And I'm going to do two little lines. You need to kind of just guess where to put these. These two lines is going to be the, where your waist of your character is. So my girl, I'm going to hop down below and do a straight line. It's going down pretty far again too. This is going to be the division in between our jacket. Then on the left side, I'm going to curve up. And on the right, I'm going to curve up too, almost like so it makes like this V shape. Uh, angle line here, angle line here, and two extra lines so it looks like a little tie. So my dude, I'm going to do a V shape twice, similar to this. And I'm going to do a V shape, like an upside down V shape going up. Those are going to be the two collars of my shirt. A little line in the middle that's going across. And then a line here and here, line here and here. So the top part and the bottom part of my tie that's being tucked into my shirt. I'm going to do angle lines going two different directions so we know where the top and bottom part of the tie is. Um, the lady, we need a line here that connects back to the center line. And from wherever you connected it, go up the other side and just stop when you hit your scarf. That's the collar of our jacket. And I'm going to do two rectangles. Little circles for like buttons to hold our jacket closed. And then from where my scarf is touching my face, I'm going to do two curvy lines that go out. And that's going to be our shoulder going to the outside of our head. Not our head, excuse me, oh my gosh, outside of our, our arm. I'm going to zoom out some. So, our guy, line here, line here, and then just go up. That's our collar for our robe. And then I'm going to draw my shoulders for my gentleman. So he's going to have a line that goes out like this. And his other arm is going to be sticking out, holding his wand. So it's going to curve down a little bit, but then kind of curve out. And this one's looking a little close, but I think it'll be okay. So I need to, from for my robe, decide where the outside edge of my robe is. So I think it's about right here will do. And then at the bottom of my robe, kind of just connect, making sure it's about the same on both sides. And I know I'm going back and forth, so if you're watching one video, like trying to copy one side, I apologize. Um, the lady, we need to know where the outside of our jacket is. So I'm going to do a kind of a rounded line on both sides. If you want to change how this line is, do it. Really what I'm trying to do is the outside of the jacket and keeping the thickness of both my arms to be about the same. So this does look a little thicker than that one, but it's okay. And I can kind of connect from my bottom. And I'm going to do books in the left part, or the on the left side of our drawing. I guess technically it's their right arm, but so a diagonal line, a diagonal line. It's going past where the arm is. I'll just run it into it. And at the end of that diagonal line, I'm going to do one that's a vertical line that's going straight down. That vertical line will det determine how long or how wide your book is. Little letter U on the top and the bottom. 
and then connect that and add some straight lines in it so it looks like pages. Connect, straight lines. And what I'm going to do is some fingers that look just like this. Four of them. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to move my gentleman out of the way. I'm going to twist. And I'm going to zoom in. So from this point right there, I'm going to do another one of these lines that hit my fingers, go on the other side. From the bottom of my, <coughs> excuse me, guys, from the bottom of the book, I'm going to do the same thing. So I ran into a problem. My fingers are not long enough. And I, believe it or not, I did this on purpose in case this happened to you too. I need to erase the bottom of my fingers and make them longer. That way, the bottom of my book is being divided too. Looks like they're kind of gripping it. So let me do that on my gentleman as well. An alternative to that is you could do your two lines first. And then now you could do your fingers so you kind of know where they need to be. And then you can erase the straight lines and then kind of touch up everything. So, you know, pick your, pick um, whichever way works best for you. This is probably the easier way, but you have to erase some. Okay. And, you, you know, if you want to put, like, magical bad guy defeating spell book, like, whatever. Um, our two arms. I'm going to do the hand the same way, but the arm on this one is kind of up. You could do that on this one, too, if you just wanted to change the direction of the shoulder. That's up to you. It just depends on how you want your wand to be held. Um, my right one, I'm going to come down two arms and kind of just connect where I'm happy with it. I'm going to move this and I'll zoom this one in. I'm really looking just for so the thickness of both my arms is the same. I'm going to twist and I'm going to do a little line like this that hooks up. That's going to be our thumb. A little, little, little tiny line right there. And then some sideways curvy guys. One, two, three, four. And then from the bottom of that, I'm just gonna go right to my my glove. My glove, wrong word, my sleeve. And that's like us gripping our wand. So now I can kind of play around with what I want my wand to be like. And if I want it to coming out the other side or not. It's up to you, okay? Kind of looks like a knife. Oh, well. Um, and I'll do the same, literally the exact same thing on the guys. His is just being held up a different direction. So there's the end of my sleeve. Let me connect it back to my body. And I'll do the same steps. So my little thumb, a curvy line. My little fingers, gripping my wand. Align back to my arm. My arm and then my wand. I think this one's going to be like a, just a classic straight up an up and down wand. Some magic coming out of it. I don't know. So do what you want with your wand, guys. Um, our legs, pretty easy. For the lady one, line down, line down. And then do a nice curve for the bottom of our shoes. And then curve up, curve up. Go back to our body, go back to our body. And if you want to have like rain boots, leave it as it is. Or I want to have like pants and shoes, so I'm gonna curve right there. So where the separation is, change this if you want to. Okay, it doesn't have to look just like mine. I am gonna add a little line left and right though, so I know where the ground is when I'm done with that. So my dude, he needs some legs though. I guess not my dude. It could be a lady too wearing a robe. It's up to you. But where my waist is, I'm gonna hop down, the very middle, do like a little line, and then two little lines for my legs. And this is the, the space in between my two legs. And then somewhere, do two more so we know where the outside part of my leg is and connect. So it looks like he has like some dress slacks on or something. Go down, go down. I'm running out of room, guys. Do the bottom of your shoe, bottom of your shoe. I'm just gonna curve, boom, right back to my leg. I made this one a little small, but 
It's okay, I'm gonna move on. Let me do my little ground. And it's time for some hair. So if you are doing a gentleman, I suggest wherever your ears are to come out a little bit, like in the same location, then go up. So you have some nice um, sideburns. And wherever those sideburns are, connect. So we know where like your hairline's gonna be. And then you need to build up. This is not the top of your head. That's where your hair is coming from on your forehead. If you have bangs, you might not see that because it might be coming down, but you need to think about what type of hair do you have. So like, if you got like wavy, spiky hair, you know, do what you want, okay? This is technically a self-portrait, but it could be however you want to, okay? Like my lady one, she's gonna have like a little dip in the middle. And then I'm gonna alternate doing big curves. One this way, one this way, one this way, one this way. Until I get about to be like where the top of her head might be. And I need some kind of coming down behind her neck. And then I'm just gonna work my way back. So it looks like almost like really long twists or something. Or I don't know. I'm making them kind of pointy, so maybe it doesn't look like twists, but maybe she's gonna have a bow up here. Like, I don't know, guys, okay? Play around with it. Maybe it should have been longer. I don't know. But the, technically, we're trying to make ourselves as witches and wizards. So if there's something that you want to add, maybe you're a bad wizard. I don't know, okay? So he got scars on your face or something, but have fun with it. Once you have this done, we're chasing, we're coloring, okay? But this, the drawing part is in case you miss class, um, so you can kind of catch up uh, at your own speed, okay? So have fun with it. Good luck. It's a long video, so thanks for watching. Bye.